What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today I am back with a brand new episode of stoner tips for you guys. Yes, sir ski We are back with a brand new episode. This is episode 162 I do believe of the stoner tips series man today's topic We are going to be covering the subject of pre-roll joints All right guys, so if you guys do enjoy or learn anything at any point in this video Be sure to hit the thumbs up button or just enjoy it in general also, if you guys are new, hit the sub button and the bell icon so you're always notified. Never miss out on a brand new video from the kid. Let's dive on into this, guys. Been a minute. Today, we're going to be talking about those pre-roll cones you can buy rather than rolling up a regular joint. Now, I do not believe I've covered these before, okay? And now, some of these are going to be frowned upon. And if you guys still don't know what I'm talking about, there's two different options to roll up a joint or to buy joints. You could buy pre-roll joints by, uh, I think, Raw Paper sells them. They sell them in packs of three and what you can do is you could just take your weed grind it up really fine and it comes with this little uh, plastic tube where you can keep pushing the weed all the way down into this joint and pretty much just pack this joint up as much as you want with as much bud as you have and then roll it up at the end or uh, you know twist the, the uh, top part up or you could just leave it leave it blank and just pack the fuck out of it you know however you want to however you want to roll this joint pretty much all you're doing is packing it it's already rolled for you already has a filter all you got to do is pack it so that's what I'm talking about in this video. Now, for me, I personally love smoking those, okay? I'm not going to lie. I would much rather do that than roll or attempt to roll a gram in a, a joint paper, all right? Now, one, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not too fond of smoking joints, let alone am I good at rolling them. No, I am not good at rolling joints at all. Um, that is one of the main reasons I would go ahead and prefer the pre-roll joints um, rather than just the joint papers. But then again, the price range is going to be drastic. All right, so you can get a pack of rolling papers, th a 30 pieces of rolling papers that's 30 different joints you have the option to roll for less than uh, like five dollars some of some places have them for six seven eight dollars all right that's still 30 30 rolling papers rather than going in getting a pre-roll i had this place that sold pre-rolls i think for um 50 cents each and or they sell packs at three for like um i i don't know i don't i'm not 100 percent sure what the price range was but honestly in the end you would save a lot more money buying these buying the joint papers and rolling them up yourself than you would buying the pre-rolls and i learned that but still the thing that held me back man it was like i'm not gonna really complain about a couple extra dollars in the end if i'm getting that good smoke experience and i fail if i fail rolling up a joint and it's it's like shit it's gonna kill the whole vibe for me and i would much rather spend an extra you know 50 cents a dollar whatever the case is um for a good solid fat joint just to j just pearled you know a pearled fucking joint i would much rather pay for that uh just to even it pack myself so that is my personal opinion on pre-rolls like if you guys smoke them as well do not you know and people shame you about it I mean, cause, cause I'm not going to lie. Some people did shame me about smoking pre-rolls and they might in the comment section as well, but I'm not going to lie guys. I am not good at rolling joints. All right. If I was good at rolling joints, I would be on the grind just as much as everyone else is if they are on that grind, but do not sleep on pre-rolls at all, man. Just because someone told you to, okay. Pre-rolls are the wave. I think they are super dope, especially if you just want to, you know, you already have the weed grinded and everything and just want to pack a fat ass fucking joint for yourself at night or something dude it could be easily done and honestly i think a lot quicker than um rolling up in your own fat ass joint but in the end however you guys want to get down with it however you can get down with it get down with it like that play it you know <laughs> i'm high as fuck when i recorded this man i just recorded an episode of sesh before i uh came and recorded this so yeah you know the vibes already guys but anyways man um i did want to talk about pre-rolls in dispensaries at first but then i was like you know what this would actually make more sense for people um who are wondering about the actual pre-rolls that you pack so that that's what i ended up talking about in a later episode uh once I get my hands on a, I've actually smoked a dispensary pre-roll and I want to cover them in a, in another video and let you guys know if it's actually worth the price. All right. I smoked a, I think it was a dank wood and then a, another one was something else. And I, I'm going to talk about those in another video. And those are just the pre-rolls straight from the dispensary, uh, three and a half grams, you know, a half gram of keef and then a half gram of shatter inside the, um, inside the blunt with a glass filter tip. I'm going to cover those in 
in the next episode or in, in a future episode of Stoner Tips. And if those are worth it, because those go in the dispensary for about $45, some of them. Some of them are cheaper, you know, $35. I think that'd be a better price. But, uh, you know, they're, you know, they're going to start taxing real, real soon. I mean, they're already taxing is what I'm saying. But hopefully the prices go down real, real soon to some mediocre shit to where they're like, all right, like now we can stop. We can chill for a sec. If that's ever going to be the case, I don't know how this shit works, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it comes. But um, that is all I got for you guys in this episode of Stoner Tips, man. Talking about pre-roll joints. Uh, if they're worth it, yes, definitely invest in them. Um, if you guys like smoking joints. Now, do not invest in these if you are smoking with your homies. Um, because unless you guys like all smoking joints, then go for it. But I just think joints die out too quick. Get these if you guys want to smoke a fatty joint to yourself. Uh, you know, on some personal shit and just face, you know, half the thing. Maybe the whole thing at once. Just get high as fuck. Uh, have a good time. Uh, yeah, that's what I would do with a pre-roll. Rather than buy a bunch of papers and just attempt to do it so anyways my personal opinion let me know, let me know your guys is in the comment section as well this has been episode 162 of the stoner tips series talking about pre-roll joints that is all i got for you guys though man my name is the low-key legend y'all stay safe stay savage stay low-key if you guys have any suggestions for episode stoner tips in the comment section right now drop them uh, i seen all your guys's ones from the last episode as well so i got them written down i'm gonna hit on them very very shortly Anyways, though, I'm out of here, guys. Love each and every one of you. Adios.